Hi, this is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Uh, today we're going to go and walk through the instructions for setting up a website on a custom domain where you're going to be using uh, two specific uh, platforms, I guess you could say. We're going to use, first of all, a Google Workspace account. So it's not just a free Gmail account or personal Gmail. We're going to use a uh, Google Workspace account. So those who are on Google Workspace for business or education or enterprise, uh, you'll know how to set up your Google site on a custom domain with those uh, admin settings. And then we're going to also look at uh, our domain as registrar will be Google domains. So uh, previously we used a uh, personal account with GoDaddy uh, and a Gmail account. So it's a bit different to uh, walk through just to kind of round out our, our, uh, our knowledge here on setting up a, a custom domain. So first of all, I have a Google site up here. This is for my uh, public website, which is on a, a Google Workspace domain. Now you can check that by clicking on the link button here, looking at the published link, okay, sites.google.com slash a slash kirksvillewebdesign.com. Now you may not have that A. Uh, that is because um, this is basically being forwarded from a an old uh, classic Google site, which is why it has that, but it may just skip the A and just go straight to your uh, primary Google Workspace domain. So I know that this Google site is associated with that uh, license. So if you go to the settings here, you'll notice there is no setting for a custom domain here. So what do you do? Well, you're actually going to be working to connect this site uh, with a custom domain through the admin settings. So if I go to the admin console through admin.google.com. So you have to be an admin for your Google Workspace account. So you go here, you may have to log in again to get through to here. And you go to apps here on the left. This will only work on a primary domain, uh, I believe. So primary Google Workspace domain. So you go to apps, Google Workspace, and then we're gonna go to sites. So my primary domain is my public website domain as well. You can see it's kirksvillewebdesign.com. We go down here to custom URL. We expand this section. And here we will see uh, basically the mapping uh, that I have set up, the connection I have set up now. So it's pointing to my uh, long Google Sites URL. I have my custom URL here. Now let's see if there's any settings I can show you here. Not really nothing comes up but I can show you on add a custom URL what would, what it would be like so we're all using new Google sites now this is where you would type in uh, your keep in mind the the format of this people often get this kind of confused it's sites.google.com slash my domain and then you type in you know whatever your website is called right there your uh, the extension on your published um, Google site URL. So you would use that, you hit continue, put in your subdomain here, whether it's www or, you know, intranet, something like that, you hit continue, and then it would direct you. Oh, keep in mind, also, this, this happens a lot. So if you don't, like, wait for something, wait for the, like, domain to load in, sometimes it cuts it off like that. I should go back again, I think. Crazy. So you have to like type it in. You have to like wait like a moment. Oh, see, it's still doing it. It's still doing the I. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, oh, goodness, I have to cancel. Cancel the whole thing, maybe. Yeah, this happens sometimes. It's kind of buggy. But it's good that I'm walking you through it here since hopefully you don't encounter the same problem. So webdesign.com slash website next. Okay, we're gonna give this plenty of time to load in because it's just type it in and wait like <laughs> I guess five seconds. Internet continue. Okay, see now it loads in perfectly fine. Kind of bizarre. And then you would hit add custom URL will be your final step and it would show up as pending 
uh, in this screen. I'm going to cancel out of this, but it would be pending right here. A pending may last, uh, you know, an hour. It could be two hours. It says, you know, 24 to 48, but normally it happens quite faster. And then what would you, what would you do? Well, you were di directed through the instructions to go to your domain registrar and add a CNAME record, right? So let's go to Google Domains. This is the registrar I'm going to walk you through using today. So Google Domains, uh, I have a different domain on here. Google Sites Expert.com. And what do we need to set up here? Well, we need to go to DNS. We need to add or modify an existing record for www. So this is our. Uh, or whatever subdomain you entered into these settings. So if it was intranet, you would use you know, intranet instead of www. It's whatever your subdomain is. So let's just make an example. Um, manage custom records. Host name would be intranet, right? And it kind of gives you that little tip here. This is your subdomain we're talking about. Uh, you would hit uh, CNAME. To just add a create a new record actually be a bit uh, less confusing create new record would be intranet this is a c name record don't mod we don't have to mess with that and it's going to be ghs.googlehosted.com with a period at the end this is the old way to do it which still works i think well i mean i know it still works but i don't know it's not recommended <laughs> but it still works for me uh or this is the preferred uh, updated uh, URL. So ghs.googlehosted.com with the period at the end. And you hit save to save that record. That was the case. So that's one thing, one thing in the instructions that they clearly uh, denote. But there's another thing which is uh, forwarding of the naked domain. So if you want to forward, let's say if it was just googlesitesexpert.com, we want to forward that naked domain to uh, say intranet.sitesexpert.com or www.googlesitesexpert.com. So you need to forward the, the naked domain. Most of the time that is the, that's something you need to do. So in Google domains, you do that, that through website, the website settings. You will edit the forwarding. We're going to forward from the naked domain. You can see that here. If it says other things, you may want to delete those out. I think it gives by default another option there uh, to forward. You can delete that out and just keep the naked domain. Let's just double check that. See, it says nothing basically in here. So that's correct. Nothing besides the naked domain. We're going to forward to Actually, this should be HTTPS to be the most correct. And then the whole whole web address that we're forwarding to with the subdomain and everything. So we're forwarding the naked domain to this full uh, URL here. And we're going to do a temporary redirect, a 302 redirect. Uh, if you do permanent, that'll be, be a little bit different in the settings. You need to learn about what the difference is if you want to explore that but most people want a temporary redirect 302 path forwarding uh, i did not forward that i think i might want to actually let's go ahead and change that to forward and also ssl should be on because this is kind of old settings but it's good i can show you that i'm updating uh, these records so 302 redirect we're forwarding the path so if you know someone types in goesiasper.com slash about you know they're going to go to the, that specific like about page that directory within your custom domain and we have the ssl on we're going to forward that so i'm updating my settings here and you can see the correct settings we're using most that most people want to use for uh, forwarding a naked domain and that may take some time to update as well. All right, so you're updating the DNS, you're updating the website and Google domains. This interface, every domain registrar, their interface is different. Uh, but you know, you can see that we're working with the admin console in Google Workspace. 
And then we were working with the Google site and you'll see some uh, things reflected here as far as the published settings are concerned. You can see that its site is also visible here, right? So you can kind of confirm that uh, this was done correctly. All right, and so that is the walkthrough uh, for setting up this custom web address. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope that was helpful. Uh, support a sort of concern for people and it would clarify uh, your uh, any issues or questions you have. Thank you again. This is Kyle with Kirksville Web Design. Uh, stay tuned for uh, content as I encounter uh, on the help forums or whatever that people need help with. Thank you.